Now I'm going to go out and make it a point to speak and get that concept real cemented into my brain. If you wanna learn Spanish, then I highly recommend you sit down for at least 10 minutes a day, you study some form of grammar, you maybe get a teacher, SpanishWithNate.com. What is the best method to learn Spanish? Many students wanna know this. Is it reading, writing, speaking? Well, let's find out in today's video. But before we get into it, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> The reality is when it comes to the best method for learning Spanish, there really is no one size fits all approach. In fact, the way that I learn Spanish is very different from other people that I know who have successfully learned the language. Now, I always tell my Spanish students that there are three keys to learning the language successfully, speaking, listening, and studying the grammar. A lot of students don't like to study the grammar, but it's extremely essential. And I always tell people to build their houses on rock instead of sand. And we've also got these two bonus ones, which are reading and writing. And nowadays this typically comes through things like text messages. You type to people and you read what they say back to you. Now the basic foundation, the basic structure that I like to follow and that I teach my students is to learn some grammar. So let's say we sit down and we learn the difference between por y para. Then we take that knowledge that we've just learned in our book or course, and we put it into use in the real world by listening to it through music, podcasts, conversations on YouTube, and then by speaking the language. We're saying, cool, I just learned how to use por y para. Now I'm going to go out and make it a point to speak and get that concept real cemented into my brain. Now, in order to figure out the best method to learn Spanish, you first have to understand what is the way that you most effectively learn. Viewing things, through listening to things, touching things. What is the best way that you're going to learn the language? Now, there are some general tips and methods that will help you learn Spanish effectively. Now, the first one and the very common one that people say will help you learn a language successfully is to immerse yourself. If you're in an environment where you're constantly listening to the language, speaking the language, you're going to learn much faster. However, don't let that hold you back because the majority, 95, 99% of the Spanish that I learned was back home in the United States and wasn't anywhere abroad. Think of yourself when you were a baby. You spent the first few years of your life only listening to the language because that was the environment that you were in. How you can create this immersive real world environment for yourself in your home country, your home state, wherever you may be. Every time I'm driving, I'm only going to listen to music. Or you say, every time I'm cooking, I'm only going to speak in Spanish. Figure out how you can create an immersive environment for yourself wherever you may be. Next is to start using some flashcards. Flashcards are really fantastic for developing your vocabulary. And by sitting down and studying the most commonly used words in the Spanish language, you can get the 80-20 down of the language. So you learn 20% of the language, the most important stuff, but then all of a sudden, you've got the 80% that will allow you to have more or less basic conversations. If you wanna become conversationally fluent in Spanish as fast as possible, check out the Fluent Spanish Speaker Academy. Here's what some of our current members have to say. Xiaoma NYC, one of the biggest language learning YouTubers on the planet with more than 5 million subscribers on YouTube says, I've never met a gringo with such mind-blowingly good Spanish as Nate. But beyond that, he's a really excellent and patient teacher, which I can say from personal experience. We stand behind our program with a 30-day full refund policy. If you're not happy within 30 days, we'll give you your money back, no questions Ask. And finally, you really just need to be consistent. The thing is, if you are constantly searching for a brand new app or method or whatever, and you're not just doing the work and being consistent, you're not going to learn the language successfully. With any hard undertaking, you simply have to sit down and do the work. If you wanna learn Spanish, then I highly recommend you sit down for at least 10 minutes a day, you study some form of grammar, you maybe get a teacher, SpanishWithNate.com, and then you start speaking the language, speaking often, putting the things that you're learning in your book or course or whatever into use in the real world, listening to the language. And as long as you show up every single day and you don't let up for a year, two years, three years, you are going to be well on your way to learning very beautiful Spanish. I tell my students to this day, I am still learning the Spanish language. While I can talk about anything, talk to anyone, no big deal, I feel confident, everything's great, I still have the mindset of I can always get better and I can always improve. Because if you think that eventually you're going to get to a point of, oh, 
I speak perfect Spanish. The reality is it's just not going to happen. You're always going to be learning and always going to be improving. If you can go into it with that mindset and enjoy the process, you are going to be a very successful Spanish learner. Bueno, muchas gracias por ver este video. Espero que te haya gustado. Si es así, por favor, dale un like y también suscríbete ya. Y si quieres aprender español conmigo, puedes visitar mi página web, SpanishWithNate.com. Muchas gracias. Adiós.